first week of placement. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good morning, guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, so right now it's the month of October and word on the street is there's something called Vlogtober going on so I thought I would hop on the wave and I think in Vlogtober you're supposed to vlog every single day of October but yeah life so <laughs> I'm gonna try and vlog every day this week and I'm gonna compile it into a video so today it's Monday morning um, and this week is really special for me because it's my first week of placement um so i'm i'm not allowed to vlog on the wards because obviously like patient confidentiality professionalism all those kind of things but i'll try to vlog as much as i can in between um just to kind of document and let you guys in on like how it's going how i'm feeling and how the process is all coming on um, so yeah i'm excited for this week uh i'm very nervous because i don't feel ready at all to be on wards treating patients it's my very first placement um but here you are like we just get we're just gonna get thrown in the deep end today wish me luck guys i wasn't even nervous like okay i'm not even nervous to be honest i really should be nervous but anyway guys oh first week of placement uh, uh, mm. Mm, this energy that i have <laughs> let's see if by friday morning this will really be the vibe Guys, let's go let's go let's go i'm actually making myself late by sitting here filming this let's go let's go let's go <laughs> Hi guys, yeah. so it's like 12.30 p.m. now, the morning part is done. Um, I have Sophie here with me, who is one of my partners on the placement. Um, so this morning we had like some introductory lectures and then we went on the board, which was a different experience. How did you find the board? Um, I'm just going to say one word. Actually, it was quite disorganized. It was very disorganized. Hi guys. <laughs> It's 5.30 p.m. and I'm slumped. How am I gonna last five weeks if after one day I'm slumped like a sack of potatoes? Day one is over and day one did not live up to the expectations that I had of it. If I could rate day one out of 10, I would give it a five when we went onto the ward we were just ignored by everyone like when you go on a ward and you see the staff the healthcare staff you've got consultants you've got the other doctors you've got nurses and medical students sit at the bottom of the pile and no one rates us apart from maybe the patients and even then that's only the nice ones <laughs> so when we went onto the ward on the afternoon it was slightly better we were still kind of ignored but the nurses uh were a bit more welcoming and they showed us which patients we could talk to so we spoke to a couple of patients and that's what the placement was is all about really it's just about speaking to patients learning how to speak to them and the sort of relevant questions to ask them so that's what today was all about i'm not gonna lie you know like it was long and I'm tired, like my brain is mentally drained and switched off right now. And I'm supposed to go home and do some more reading about the things I observed today in the patients. The patients we spoke to were really nice. But anyway, I'm gonna go home and give myself maybe an hour of resting time and then do some more revision. And we're gonna do this all again tomorrow, tomorrow. I love ya, tomorrow. I don't know how much I love tomorrow, to be honest, right now. See you tomorrow. Good 
good morning beautiful people it is 7 a.m on a tuesday morning and i am feeling so much better than yesterday when i got home last night i was so slumped as in i had food and just got ready for bed <laughs> i was so slumped i could not do a thing like my brain as i was driving home my brain was switching off and off and off and off i planned to do work when i got home but yeah it was quite a long day i'm not going to be too hard on myself it was my first day it was a long day and i was tired but today um i'm feeling like it's going to be um more productive i'm going to use my time more wisely i know more of what to expect where i can take my breaks and where i can study during the day so it's a tuesday placement day two let's do the thing Bra so i've just had the most awesome afternoon um i was told literally on the spot to go to the theater to watch the surgery um i just watched a debridement of the peritoneum of the scrotum um, I'll probably put a description here of what that is but it was a mad mad surgery and um, they said it would take about three hours but it took like less than half an hour I think by the time they went to look at the severity of it um, it wasn't as bad as they thought it might be so they didn't end up they, they only drained some fluid um, and then they managed to just close it off essentially drained some fluid took some skin and then closed it off but yeah it was really fun this is me and my scrubs excited to be in the scrubs hey guys so as you have just seen like today has been such a better day than yesterday such a better day that doesn't sound right so much better than yesterday this morning i made it for the ward round but then the doctor who was overseeing me was like oh don't go for the ward round do this stuff instead um so i was paid, paid a lot more attention to today which is really cool i spoke to about five patients this morning went for lunch and then came back and watched that surgery um which was the insight i just gave you guys and then just now i've been back to the ward to close off for the day with the doctor who's been overseeing me for the day so um it's been a really really good day i had lunch but guys i'm hungry again it's like i haven't eaten anything sometimes i worry about myself it's like i have a full meal and then like a couple hours later i'm hungry as if i've starved for the day i think i have a problem yeah i'm literally gonna eat right now while i do some work um write up the notes from the patients that i've seen today um so i'm gonna do that for a few hours um, which would be so much better than yesterday because when I got home yesterday I was so slumped but today um, I seem to be having more energy which is really cool despite the fact guys I actually woke up at 5am this morning can you believe it I did a bit of work um, but for someone that woke up at 5 I have like <laughs> a lot of energy right now which I'm quite happy about so I'm going to put that energy to use because you know yeah yesterday was not too productive I still can't get over like how good of a day it was and my theory is that this morning I actually prayed so I forgot to pray yesterday morning about my day but this morning I prayed and I said Lord Jesus I commit this day into your hands please uh, like cause a change in um, the hearts of the doctors towards us medical students um, let them see us today let them you know be more welcoming and helpful and they were so much more welcoming and helpful so moral of the day guys if you want a really good day commit it into the hands of the Lord and he will do wonders <music> just parked up at uni it's wednesday morning yesterday was such a productive day we thank god and i'm hoping today will be the same so today's wednesday it's going to be a little bit different every wednesday on placement we don't go on the wards we have teaching instead um so today i have teaching and we start a bit later which is really nice because i was able to have a lion this morning so my first class is at nine today we're learning immunology uh not my favorite of subjects but we move anyway wednesday let's go Oh my God. At 
absolutely knackered. It's like 8.30, coming to 9. And I'm just heading home now. Wednesday is over. I'm so happy with how much work I've gotten done this evening though, because yeah, um, other than today, I would have said this week has been kind of unproductive, but today has been a good day. Um, I just hope that today is the beginning of my peak flow that I can keep it up. Just kind of stuck in traffic now. Good night, guys. Mwah. Happy Thursday. I'm literally on my way in um, to the eight o'clock handover meeting and ward round. I'm running a bit late, hence I am literally like rushing as I make this vlog. This morning it was so hard to get up, guys. You don't even know, like, I think I'm coming to my limit. And I'm happy that today is Thursday. Only got to wake up this early for one more day. And Saturday, can relax a little bit. But yeah, this week has been very tiring. But anyway, hand over me in Woodland, let's go. Had the longest morning in the history of ever. Jokes, I'm probably exaggerating, but it was a really long morning. I had to be in for eight for the ward round. No, for the handover meeting, then we went to the ward round. My first ward round, how was it? It was long. We saw about 20 patients um, from like 8.30 till 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock now, and I'm literally just heading to get my breakfast. I've been so hungry all morning, it's really bad. Um, so I've just snipped out. Um, to get breakfast and then I'll go back um, to find the doctor who is sort of in charge of me today and I guess we will discuss like this morning's patients and all the things that we saw so yeah morning beauties it is friday morning the final day of the vlog it's been a long 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 week but as per usual i'm running late so let's keep this swift um how am i feeling about my final day of the week actually quite happy because um i'm very tired <laughs> like i'm very very tired and i'm glad tomorrow i can kind of like have a little lie-in and it's not going to be as hectic as every other day this week has been but let's get to it um i've missed the ward round this morning because um, so my SHO, the doctor who's like above me supervising me, she was like, don't, you don't have to come in early tomorrow, it's fine. Um, so I didn't go for the handover or, uh, no, I haven't missed the ward round. I just missed the handover meeting, but I'm going to try and get in for the ward round now. Should be starting like now. So I'm going to go like now. See you guys. <laughs> This is my favorite meal to eat when I'm at uni. Oh yes. Don't judge me, guys. So it is Friday evening, 4.30 p.m. And my first week of placement is finally done. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, I feel so relieved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If I could review my first week, boy. I think I had such high expectations, but they've just been brought right back down to reality it was not what i expected at all i feel like i spent like most of the week just feeling like a pest following these doctors around um and because it's like my first placement like i don't feel confident enough to do certain things so for example like taking bloods cannulating patients even though we have been taught to do them and i should be taking a step to be honest i kind of use this week to like orientate myself so i'm gonna step up and try and do some procedures next week like taking bloods and cannulating patients and yeah just doing um all kinds of clinical stuff but because i wasn't ready to do that stuff this week like the nurses um just kind of saw like me and my peers as a bit useless and then like the doctors just saw us like as like pests because you know we couldn't do things for them but we were just like kind of following them around so i found at times like they just tried to 
give us stuff to do like just to get rid of us like just so that we get out of the hair a bit which is fair enough but then some of them were really nice and like taught us um things uh when i was on the ward round this morning the consultant who was leading the round she let me feel for some things on some of the patients so feel like patient hernias and things like that so that was really helpful finally the weekend <laughs> I'm excited for the weekend. I'm not even doing nothing this weekend yet, yeah, but I'm just ready to chill and to not be walking up and down the hospital, to be honest. Like, I am I am ready for a lifetime of this. Like, obviously, once I get more confident and more competent, um, but at the level which I'm at, it's just a massive, massive learning curve. I'm learning new things every day. Like, every day, so many things are just new to me. So, if you see me on the ward, like, I have my notebook and I am frantically scribbling during every conversation that the doctors are having, during every patient doctor consultation, I am frantically scribbling away so I can go home and read up on every single aspect of the conversation or I guess anyway just the new things um that are brought up that I've never heard of before so I've learned so much this week so much more than I've learned in like lectures and stuff which I've been in for the first couple months of med school so placement is definitely really good in like teaching you I find it a more effective way of learning than lectures can't lie because in lectures you sit there for an hour you lose concentration right, right, right. but when you're on the ward like it's hands-on the patient is there watching you like you have to be alert you have to be paying attention um so that's what i've tried to do this week um i can't believe this vlog is coming to an end oh <laughs> thank you so so much for watching you're amazing you're amazing you're amazing if you've watched up to this point <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below i love you as always um let me know if you enjoyed this kind of a video um and then i can do like more med school related vids if you're interested um but of course this is like a really big aspect of my life so i thought i would bring you into it and uh, now i'm gonna go enjoy my weekend enjoy the rest of your evening your day your morning whatever time of the day you're watching this and i said it already but i'm saying it again love you Mwah.